So what is the best rowing axe in history? My money is on this bad boy, the Francisca, bringing terror throughout Europe from around 500 to 850 AD. Mainly used before hand-to-hand -hand combat, thrown en masse towards the enemy, breaking shields, bones, morale and formations. Today I'll show you how to burn a handle properly and darken it and also do some simple carving on the head. So this is what a quick burn looks like. It looks great. However, what we're going to do is cremate it. Uh, when I say burn it, I really do mean burn it. So let's get on with it. I do one half of the handle at a time, uh, keeping my hands well away from the flames for obvious reasons. And I'm really trying to get a deep char on this wood. I need to do the next stage uh, whilst the handle is still warm, so I use a weld glove to take the hand. Whilst it's literally still steaming, I move on to the next stage. I'm using an ebony black stain here. Um, this will really help to darken and give it some beautiful colouring. And I find that the warm wood just helps to absorb and dry the stain quite quickly. Because the warm handle dries the stain so quickly, it means I can also oil whilst there's still some warmth there. Again, this just helps the wood to absorb the oil, um, rehydrates it, reprotects it after the severe burn. Next to the head, I've drawn a raven onto this, freehand drawing as always. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over all the lines. If you want to see more detail on how I carve an etch, um, just look at some of my other videos. Once done, remove the marker. I'm just using some nail varnish remover. It takes off any paint. I then go back over the lines and add details. Um, details usually are free handed on. Then give it a little bit of polishing and we're good to go. These really are beautiful axes. I always love working on these. Really accurate, really nice to throw and lob. And here's the end of the results. I hope you like it. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the like button. And let's see where she landed.